We all have a body clock, an internal timing device which allows our bodies to function differently during the day and night. For example, our body clock causes the hormone cortisol to begin to rise even before we wake up to prepare us for the day ahead. Our body clock gets its cues from the position of the sun in the sky. Our social clock, which is the time it says on our watch, has no effect on our body clock. We experience jet lag after a long flight because it takes a couple of days for our body clock to reset to the position of the sun in the sky in our new destination. During standard time, when the sun is at its highest point, our watch reads noon. So our body clock is aligned with our social clock. However, during daylight savings time, when the sun and body clock are at midday, our watch reads 1pm. This shows that daylight savings time causes a one hour mismatch between our body clock and our social clock. We now know that this mismatch between our body clock and social clock is bad for our health and can lead to increases in fatigue, depression, diabetes, obesity, heart disease and cancer. We also know that by staying on standard time, we will get more light in the morning, which makes sure our body clock keeps in time with the sun. So for our health, it's best to abolish daylight savings time and lock the clock on standard time.